Hey, Pastor Rebecca here again, and it's May, and we're celebrating May Day on May. No, it's not May yet. It will be May. And so we're celebrating May Day on May 1st. And that's the day that um, they, they used to, in ancient times, celebrate spring. There'd be a lot of flowers. Have you ever heard of a maypole where you um, dance around a maypole and do ribbon and stuff like that? And so um, what we're doing is I'm challenging kids to send, um, to send anonymous baskets to your neighbors in honor of May Day. Now, the cool part about this is today I'm making a really simple one. So if you have a coffee filter, you're going to take a coffee filter. Now, it'll, it'll get stretched out. So then what you're going to do is you're going to staple it back together to make it look more like a, um, a basket. Now, remember, May Day is all about flowers. Now, if you happen to have access to some flowers, throw some flowers in here. But what you can do, I don't know if you saw my May basket before, is you can make your own flowers out of tissue paper. And I am telling you, this is super fun. And um, it's something to do and just super cool to be able to share with your neighbors and your friends how much, um, you know, you love them and maybe even miss them because you can't hang out with them. So, and since it's anonymous, oh, look at this. I made this really cool mail, uh, May basket. Do you see how cool that is? Just this little basket. And I'm going to take a piece of pink paper here that I have here. I'm going to cut it. Um, yesterday, I rolled a whole piece of paper and it got really thick, which was good. But today, I'm going to make it a little thinner. See, this was really thick and nice. And today, oh, did you want to see my cone ones? Look at these. I made cone ones that you can hang on door on doorknobs. Super cool. So this one, look at this. You're gonna um, you're gonna make it use a coffee filter, or you can use cupcake liners. They work also. They're awfully small. Now, when I was a little girl and someone did it at my house, that's what they used. They used um, coffee uh, cupcake liners. And I remember, like, there was even, like, Easter grass and just a couple pieces of chocolate or something. Now, look at that little basket. Wasn't that easy? Now, remember, we've been talking about making flowers, and we've just been talking so much about making things easy. And so I just cut this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it because a lot of times a flower looks like it's been rolled. And look at this. Oh, see, you can just... You can just shape it and make it whatever you want. Oh, this looks like a posy. And then you take um, pipe cleaners. And then the pipe cleaner will help go in there. And then look at that. You know, that one doesn't look as good as my other ones. Um, and then the idea is you can put a little candy in there. You can put a note. You can put maybe a banana bread. If you make something bigger like this, you could put banana bread in there. Um, just something to tell your neighbors, hey, I'm thinking about you and I just want you to know that I care. So this was a little simple one to do today. Just wanted to give you one more idea on how to make a May basket. Have a great day. I want you to know that I love you so much that um, I'm, I'm Rebecca Hoppinen, Pastor Rebecca from DGT, which is Duluth Gospel Tabernacle. We're a church and we minister to kids. And um, this whole season of social isolation has kind of reminded us to connect with other kids and other people. And hopefully this will go on forever and you'll continue to be connected with me. Be sure to like um, like this, uh, this May Basket idea, subscribe and share. Lots of videos to look at about Jesus and different things, but these this is just a simple craft for you to do today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.